Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, welcome and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for all listening and to watch my YouTube videos. You guys have been so amazing. If you're new here, my name is Hajim Kuvede. If you enjoy watching this video, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, today on this channel, I'm going to be talking about this particular lady, like, I don't know, one of our sister. Let's put it that way. One of our sister. So, so today I went to TikTok and the first video I saw is a woman, a dying woman, excuse me to say this, a very exhausted, devastated woman. So guys, and the caption didn't actually say anything, you know, this thing is already going on. So what I saw is justice for Halima. After the comment section, everybody was like, justice for Halima. And I couldn't get anything. So. I went to search on story of Halima and a lot of video games. I tried watching the videos and after watching all the videos, I realized Halima is a household working in Saudi Arabia, but she's actually coming from Uganda. So in working in Saudi Arabia, her boss used to force her to do TikTok videos with him, like like trying to abuse her and make fun of this lady. But some videos too that I watched, like I can see that the boss was actually raising her some of the videos weren't too offensive but somehow to guys you know no matter what you are doing with somebody you need to have that kind of mutual agreement and here in alima's case there's no agreement but which is so bad of the boss like i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know when like this saudi men started to talk to to interrupt interrupt with other females I, I wouldn't put it as a household but other females to that extent you have no right or whatsoever most especially in saudi arabia as a man you are not supposed to talk to a lay a woman i know a lot of things has changed but not to that extent that you want to be filming videos with her and so all, all sort of things you know it is it is bad like it is haram it is bad it is pro it is prohibited for we the male servants to even take a picture of your house or to even make a video or to even snap one up to even have some of uh, some of your images on our phone is the most dangerous offense in arab's house and to date even if i'm filming and my little boy my innocent little boy has to come around me and mistakenly he happened to appear in my video i'll make sure that his part is being cut out from my videos so to me this is so bad it is so bad it is so bad you know this lady is working and sometimes i've seen the videos like she wasn't some of the videos she wasn't looking good and we all like you see those kind of mess servants and those kind of things no matter what you want to do sometimes you would want to brush on small you want to brush on your body small like try to yeah try to clean up small and those kind of things but here like the case this lady will be working you just go and stand there trying to film her and try you are forcing yourself on her she's not even laughing sometimes she's not even smiling she wasn't wearing any any smile like a lot of videos I, i've watched um, I, I didn't even see this lady wear a smile but you are sm you are laughing you are thank god she's so brave enough yeah she's so brave enough to stand out for herself she didn't allow you and these are the kind of people we want around like people like yeah people like her she was so brave this is what i would say she didn't allow you to use her for whatsoever it's, this is so wrong of you if you want to do videos or you want someone that will be doing us those time those kind of things you have your siblings you have your sisters around you have your children around you can go and call them try to if views is what viewers is what you want do whatever you want to do with halima with them you see that thing that you want to do with halima you can also find it in them so go and try to discuss with them and those kind of things. If you think this is appropriate for you, then go and discuss it with your sisters. Have that kind of agreement and start making videos with them. And not our sister. If she doesn't want it, she doesn't want it. Yeah. I'm saying maybe this is... Uh, Halima happens to be the person that was brave enough to come out for people to see what is actually going behind 
the same but a lot of us are also going through this and yeah i saw one one sister who actually came out and was so offended that because everybody was saying justice for halima they, they shouldn't say justice for halima they, they, she was trying to tell everybody that justice for all the households not just halima yeah because most of us are going through a lot as for me there was a there, there was a time my my boss's son, one of my boss's son tried taking a picture of me like i was working and he tried taking picture of my back like and quickly i saw him and i didn't let him i got so angry raved and raved about the whole thing his mom asked him to delete my picture from his phone and that was what happened so as for me they refer to me as a security or they call me soldier sometimes police and i don't care yeah and i don't care so halima i salute you i'm so happy for you i love the i love how brave you were i love the way you stood up for yourself or oh, and as for our kenyan sisters ugandan sisters or african sisters and most also the faith no sisters guys i'm so proud of you guys thanks for what you have done like i love the way you all came together to fight this case and also i don't call i don't call this justice alima didn't get the justice that we want because at least i want the boss to be punished for doing that at least this is against their law the, the man actually oversteps his boundaries and like to go that extent fuming a lady who does not want to be filmed and also trying to talk to the lady this is what we call molest like he's molesting her and i learned the lady is actually working in four houses guys this is so bad of you yeah we are all going through this sometimes they'll be like go and clean our house go and clean my son's house go to my grandmother's house go to my mother's house yeah we are all going through all these things and if you are putting this lady through this and after you still come back and come and be forcing her to film videos with you then you are so wicked you are so wicked you are so wicked you have somebody who cooks for you who do the dishes laundry and whatsoever you even take her to the other four house uh, three houses including your house four and you still abuse this lady you expect her to be happy after overworking her <laughs> cut the pretense and because you felt she's not a citizen of saudi arabia so you got the girls to come out and come and lie to the people that she stole your gold and like as a normal human being as a normal human being like a lot of us actually escaped from our contract house because they don't pay us well a lot of things is actually going on that we look for help and we couldn't get and the only help we could give to ourselves is to escape yeah that time we have to wait for people to go out we have to wait for, for our bosses to sleep before we could escape and those kind of, but here lies and here in halima's case halima is actually running on a broad daylight yeah she's actually she was actually running on a broad daylight it means something is actually going on and she happened to escape from her hands like there's no normal human being that would want to escape from his boss's hands in a broad daylight halima was actually going running halima was actually escaping for her dear life yeah only god knows what you were doing to her maybe she refused to film with her and you wanted to beat her or wanted to hit her with something so somehow she had to escape in broad daylight and guys when she was running when she was when she was running you were also you were driving behind her taking videos of uh, taking videos of her because you, you want to prove yourself right that she's the thief halima stole and those kind of things no normal human being will steal gold from saudi arabia boss and still run on a broad daylight when right in front of his boss this is never done my brother this is never done if you want to come out and come and apologize we expect you to come out and come and apologize or even confess what you were doing to her and gold. so when you guys arrested her did you find any gold in her hands no i know i've seen the video that halima actually made that she's 
she's fine like she's she she's already in her country and also she's fine and all sort of things but we still need justice for halima she may be all right she may be all sort of things but we need justice for all the traumas that this lady actually went through we want justice we want justice i want the man to be arrested i want him to be charged for all the assault that here i want the man to be i just want the man to be punished for what that for all that he did watching all the videos that was when i realized the woman i saw is nobody but the mother of halima guys can you imagine that damages can you imagine that damage that woman could have died of heart attack or whatsoever out of what this man actually did to her her, her daughter we all, look this is the end of my video thanks for watching